What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Drift 21 for another episode here on the PC. We're gonna be doing a build on the BRZ. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of it's found in the description box below. Let's get to it. Let's build that BRZ. So if you guys been following the channel, you guys know that we've been battling with force feedback and stuff like that. But today, we're going to get into this BRZ. So the BRZ does not have anything in it. It's got basic interior in it. But we are going to be doing a full build on this. Now, we have not decided if I'm going to do it in the 4-cylinder or the 6. That's got a 1,000 horsepower 6-cylinder in it. So we may do a 4-cylinder in the BRZ. So first thing we need to do is we need to get the BRZ over to the lift and get all the suspension nitty gritty off this car because we need to do a full suspension rework on this car, including brakes, control arms, everything like that, front and rear. We're going to do a little bit less of an angle this time, angle kit this time because I feel like we may have had too much angle. A lot of couple of you guys were commenting that maybe too much power, too much angle gonna open up the garage door gonna look outside hopefully we'll get a chance to be able to use stuff back here it would be awesome so we're going to do full suspension on this car oh we have other wheels stacked over here I forgot we we have just random wheel stuffs and everything everywhere so drop all that off so let's work with the front of the car first uh, we are going to do, we're going to take the brakes off, and then we're going to be probably doing upgraded brakes as well. I mean, we could probably just drop that over there. Take off the hub, uh, we got to take off brake part, drop that over there. Throw that bearing, oh, we might need that bearing. Well, it's okay, we can get another one. Because luckily, I'm gonna, luckily <laughs> we're just throwing parts. Luckily, parts that we already own, we don't have to pay for again. So let's drop this suspension, and then we gotta pull the knuckle off, and then we gotta pull the lower control arm off. All right. So now let's get into buying some upgraded parts. We're gonna hit E. We start with the lower control arm. We're gonna go with the Type Two. Of course, put that in there, and then knuckle is where I was. So I believe last one we were running, we were running in the other one 55 degrees. So we're gonna run the actual tuning knuckle, which is 45 degrees, because the basic one is 35. So we're gonna go up to just the tuning, which is 45 degrees, and we're gonna see if this possibly helps. So we're gonna put the wheel bearing, the front hub back on. All right, so we gotta go with some suspension I think we're gonna go with sports or tuning we're gonna go with the more expensive ones we're gonna go with the sports just because why not throw in the sports and we gotta throw in the shift link garage we got enough money right now I believe so we are gonna upgrade to a 350 in the front so we gotta throw 350 rotor in there as well so 350 type 1 type 2 type 3 mm, yep we're gonna go with type 3 type 3 rotor oh we're not gonna worry about the wheels yet no no we need a caliper we gotta go well I guess maybe we need to put the car up higher so that I can get to the caliber side there it is so we're gonna go with the biggest and best caliper we can for the front there we go so that corner is done we got to do the other corner now real quick turn E off oh. and then we're going to throw that over there nice shot up against the wall 
There we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna chuck all these parts over to the wall. Why not? I mean, get it out of my way. We're gonna lower this back down a little bit. So the BRZ build is going to be a little different than the other build. So like, cause like I said, if you guys followed before, you guys know I went all out with that. This time we're gonna go a little less power, a little less angle. And hopefully that will help us in the long run. We're just like yeeting these parts. This one didn't get as far as I wanted to, so we're gonna pick, pick that up. Doof. Okay. So we got to get our parts back on. We're gonna go E. Oh, and we're gonna throw control arm in. So we also didn't do back suspension in the S15. So I feel like it would be a good idea to actually do full suspension on this car, front and rear. And we did do that one. All right, so that one's all together. That one is all together. So the front's all together. Now we got to come and take the back apart. Think we can get over the fence? Oh, it did! <laughs> I collected it too. We, <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with that. We collected it as we threw it in the back. That's uh, definitely intense. So we got two sets of calipers back here, of course, for that little bit of a hydro. You know what? We're just gonna, oh, well, no. We're just gonna drop pretty much everything over here just for sake of time. Oh, no, no, not the axle. Take out the rear suspension. Is there a different sway bar link? No, rear stabilizer link is not any different. Oh, do we gotta take that all apart? Okay, so we can upgrade the arm. And then we can upgrade the knuckle. In order to do that, we gotta pull the axle out, which we're gonna need. So we're gonna drop that and we can upgrade so we gotta take all of this apart I'm not sure okay now we can take the knuckle off all right there we go so we're gonna go an e i'm gonna throw upgraded knuckle in there sport rear upgraded upper Upgraded linkage. Now, do we have any upgraded axles? No, I don't. There's no upgraded drive axles. So, drive axle can go back into place. And now we need to put on the hub that I chucked across the way. And then we're going to go 350 in the rear. Now we need to get that second one on there. So there is a secondary 350 bracket. So we're gonna go here, 350 bracket. Oh no, 300 bracket then? Hmm. So we do need a secondary bracket. So we're gonna go E, I know we need to. So we're gonna have to put this up higher. You gotta make sure you have every single part on this car. Otherwise it will not let you go. So we're gonna throw a big 350 rotor in the rear. And it won't let me get to that bracket. So it's not gonna actually let me work with a, 300, a 350 in the rear. So, with that being said, we're gonna take that off. I don't know why it doesn't let me work with 350, but we're gonna get rid of that. So we're gonna go E. And then we're going to lower that. Unless it only needs a single one in the front or in the back. We will have to see once we actually get the car fully together and if it allows us to run a single caliper in the rear. Because as of right now, it did originally have two. So. We need to find out if it lets us run a single. Now 
Now it may require, see, it is showing that we're required to have a secondary bracket on there. But for some reason, it will not let me put the bracket on. So we will have to figure that out. But we need to figure this out sooner than later because, well, maybe we should just put the original brakes in the rear and just upgrade all the linkages and stuff. I don't know. We need to figure this out before this car is able to go onto the track. Take the axle out, drop the axle. All right, you can take that off, drop that. Suspension, drop that. Control arm, drop that. Knuckle comes out. Then we do E. I'm gonna go upgraded rear. And then we need to put. Oh, nope, nope. Linkage parts back on. No, no, we need that one. Come here. Mr. Link. There we go. Let's drop that in there. Get the upgraded upper. And then put the drive shaft back in. And then hub. So should we do the factory break? Oh, it only see it only makes me do one. All right, so we're gonna go with the the 300, and then we're gonna add brake one, and then a rotor, and then we'll go with that. So for suspension wise, the car is absolutely done. That from what I know, so now it's a matter of an engine. So, I feel like we should do the four cylinder and drop it in there, but I feel like we should upgrade it first. So let's take that back to the stand. And I think we should just turbo the four cylinder. So let's take off exhaust manifold. And then let's turbo that manifold throw a type 2 turbo on it nope oh, I just dropped my good turbo and then throw on the pipe and then an air filter on there turbo pipe for the four cylinder there we go and there so we're gonna go with the BRZ radiator hose and the BRZ radiator hose on the ground all right put that on and let's send this to the BRZ and now we need to find out what other stuff we're missing in the BRZ we're missing wheels we know that Underneath, what are we missing? So we're missing an intercooler. So we're gonna throw in the biggest intercooler we can. Charge pipe. Charge pipe on the ground. So, we're gonna put some wheels on this car. We're gonna take the two fronts that were originally on, well, weren't really fronts one was the front one was the rear but they'll work the same and then we're gonna take these other wheels that were on the 15 and we're gonna put those in the rear for right now and then we're gonna send the car to engine parameters and then we need to send this car to the dyno dyno car parameters missing a gearbox we're not gonna be able to put that in there. Oh, I forgot the gearbox. What else are we missing? Oh, and see, it does say the rear brakes are missing. So, there's a lot of things that we need to address fully, but 
I think that'll do it here for this episode so far. We're going to have to go through and readjust the back of the brake systems and everything like that because we're going to need a second caliper bracket on here. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. We will get this car running in the next episode and get it sideways with our turboed four-cylinder. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Thank you.